30 seconds. I don't care how many of you are on the phone lines right now. I'm not asking for you to get on the phone lines. I'm just going to give you a deal where it's impossible not to pick up the, the phone. The split payments are under £38. Yeah. yeah, they are. That's crazy. Yeah. It is outrageous. And you will remember this maybe in five years' time, maybe in ten years' time, when you go and get this valued and they say, good, you know, Congratulations, go Heather. It's wonderful to hear um, from a collective oh, that have been able to put together you, these amazing collections. Well done, Isle of Wight, South Yorkshire, Staffordshire, Greater Manchester, Hampshire, Lincolnshire. You've got four seconds. And what did I say? I don't take five or ten pounds off. So ninety-nine pounds. Oh, there it. we go. I don't care. Let's do it. There We've we go. We've got an incredible auction to get through. We've got three other <laughs> legacy pieces, irreplaceable pieces, uh, pieces that shouldn't be available to mere mortals like us. They shouldn't. Yeah. I mean, when you talk about Sotheby's auction house, like yes, yes, uh, and, and them talking about it like it's the greatest collection of carvings ever, ever amassed, ever from hundreds of years ago. Yes. And here we are in 2022, a year on from that almost bringing you an 85 carat carving, master carving. Master carving. This isn't material that we, we just buy rough and send to Jaipur. They can't do this in Jaipur. Like you said, it's their forefathers. Yes. It's generations. And, and, you know, if you want to know how, how far back the history of jade goes, they, they are unearthing Neolithical archaeological digs that contain jadeite. And, and, and the detail, the depiction, the, the crispness of the carving. This isn't something which is a suggestion of no, a point. No, no, no. There's, a, a, there's a dragon this carved is... into that, a mythical dragon. Yeah. You know, that carries that auspicious meaning. And I would urge every single one of you to read up. Oh, on, on it's The legend of the picture. Stuff. It is. I absolutely love it. And I, I never do it justice, I'm sure. But, I mean, I always love reading about this mythical creature. I absolutely love it. I wish I had one. Yes. Actually, oh. not, not the jade. I mean, the jade's amazing. But I wish pet. I just had the pixu As that was pet. going out and getting gold for me. <laughs> Thank you for that. That would be great. Just send him out and he comes back. With right. a load of coins. Pays his own vet's bills. You know, yeah, that's exactly. it. Fantastic. That would do me. Congratulations. Birmingham, Greater London, yeah. Chelsea, the Suffolk, Bristol. A lot of people now. What makes me happy is seeing the people that had already got one or two. Like um, uh, A in Cheshire. You've yeah. now got three. Alison, you had two. You've now got three. Uh, collectors around the world are joining us right now. Usually it's just the UK we get to see here, but we've got collectors around the world joining us for what is an epic auction. We've still got over 50 in baskets. We've got considerably less than that in stock. We've got them at the call centre really, really trying to work through your calls as quickly as we can. We're going to give them a chance to catch yeah. up. There's still a lot of people coming through. We've got about a dozen of these left. That is it. Um, uh, don't go anywhere. We'll be back in about 30 seconds. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Well done. Huge congratulations. Again, there's still there, people there's coming more through. people on the phone lines and in the baskets than there is available, so I'd encourage you to check out on that. Yeah. I know we have that strand, but I'd like to bring everyone the red jade out right now. Definitely. 15 carats, hotly anticipated. There's, there's less than 100 of these, much less. In fact, there's these 70 amazing. chances. 70 chances of these. Um, again, oh, trust me, get on the phone lines early. This is a, 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 an unbelievable moment. Oh. We did a, an incredible Jade Eye, Red Jade Eye showcase. Everything sold out. We saved this one auction for every single one of you. There's 10 individual donuts. Stunning. Um, and and, and, and if, if I can just have the clicker, Tom, if that's okay. Um, thank you. Uh, I want to talk to you about you know, the, the, the incredible what's taking place in the market for Jade right now, for, for Red Jade. And to do that, I have to go back to February when I was in uh, Tucson. Yeah. I, I met with a, a gentleman called Roland Schlussel, who is the co-owner with his wife, Nata, mm. of a company called Pillar and Stone. They are like the bridge between you know, Myanmar and North America in terms of the big jewelry designers getting hold of incredible jade eye. Now, over my uh, left shoulder there is a glass case filled with incredible Taipei jade eye in a yeah. range of different colors. So you've got your purples, your honeys, your greens. They actually had a suite of 49 carrots of imperial green jade eye. They had everything. What they didn't have was red jade eye. Wow. And I got speaking to Roland, who, as you can see, his accreditation there. I mean, he was awarded the Rainer Diploma Prize in 1985 from Goodness Christie. me. He is the guy, um, <laughs> he is the authority on jade eyes. Yeah, yeah. Um, so he said to me, the price of Taipei jade eye is right now at an all-time high. So particularly difficult for us is the sourcing of the skin. 
These are the fancy colors of jade, so the lavender and the red. Yeah. And these prize colors are so rare because this is the skin of the boulder as it oxidizes. Gosh. He said, this is why you never get solid red color sculptures or jewelry, which <laughs> I know you're looking at it, Carol. We do. Yeah. Um, and he said, because the skin is so thin comparatively and the boulders just aren't coming out yes. in the current market, you're never going to get solid red jadeite. And he says, again, he goes on to say, these colors have turned the industry on its head. Okay, so the demand and the supply is a real issue. And as such, we are seeing some of the highest prices for this material. And still dealers that have this material looked into sale because they can't replace it. He said, and, and I saw him, he had Imperial Green Jade on his booth. He didn't have Red Jade. He said, we are finding it easier to provide Imperial Green to our clients and at a more affordable price for the first time. Mm. And, and this is what he means. So if you think of Jade, I always like to use the analogy of an apple. Mm. So the flesh of the apple, if there is jadeite within the boulder, it'll always be a variation of green. Because yes. you have the cross section there, the actual photograph of a cross section of a jadeite Gosh, boulder. It's all yeah. green. Okay, there's patches of imperial, but the rest of it is, is a variation of green as well. And actually, yeah. in that skin or the crust, whatever you want to refer to it as, there is no fancy colour. Okay, but that is the only place where the fancy colours can live. Gosh. That's the only place. So that's where yeah. you get the lavenders and the reds, and that's uh, where they only can exist. It will never be in the flesh of the jadeite. So, yes, they can find jadeite boulders the size of a garden shed. You can find them yeah, as small as a football. But uh, and whilst they will contain green jade, there is no guarantee you'll get those fancy colours. Yeah. And this is what he means by when he says you never get solid red. Yes. And you can see that. It's, it's, you know, that sold in 2002. For 18 grand, 18,000 US dollars. I wonder what it would be worth now. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And this is the appreciation of date. We heard about that gentleman that said, we we're selling them for $5,000 exactly. 30 years ago. Exactly. I'm buying them back today for 70. Yeah. Uh, and the, uh, someone else commented at Tucson, which is this year, 2022. They said the boulder skin, it's completely disappeared from the market as it's the only material that has never been stockpiled. Now, I, I spoke to that family who, who we saw in JCK the, the guys with the high-pitched voice, um, and he said, oh, I can get Imperial Green. I can actually cut it to order. We've been in the industry for 55 years. We have rough of Imperial Green. I mean, the price is the price, but I'm just saying they've got it. It exists. What people don't have is the fancy colours. And, and here they say, uh, this has resulted in the most drastic price jump that the jade market has ever seen. Okay? So now there's no jade coming out. The colours have gone. And they say, we strongly feel that it won't be long before the auction record, which is right now held by Imperial Green Jade, the Circle of Heaven, is held by a purple or red jade, which changes everything we have ever understood about jade. And he circles the fancy colours that he's talking to there, the reds, the honeys, the lavenders, the, 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 the purples. Um, and I asked him um, a question, and you can see it in bold. Is there a jade that stands out in the current market? Yeah. And he said, as you can see, we have every colour and variety, from Imperial Green to Honey Jade, but in my time in the industry, which is 35 years of just working with jade, I've maybe seen a handful of full body red jade. Wow. And then he goes on to say, I wish I'd bought them. Because the sad truth is, I probably won't ever see another. And he goes on to say, it was hell to even get a picture for the book. So he's written a book. It was actually released this year. Mm. It's 10 years work. Uh, it's written by him and 23 other gemologists. Mm -hmm. The book is dedicated to, to jade eye. Yes. And that book, to buy the book, is more expensive than I'm going to give you 15 carats of red jade. <laughs> Wow. I'm making that promise right now. So you can buy the book on jade, which he said was held to even get a picture of a red jade out. I'm going to give you a 15 carat parcel. Oh, it's now, stunning. Now, I look at these and I think to myself, you get 10 of these. Yes. I genuinely wish, and it doesn't matter because I'm bringing them to you right now, but I did an incredible red jade out showcase with everyone here uh, uh, last week. Yeah. And we saved this auction, okay? And I wish that I had won the argument when I said, can I just take this and get it made into jewelry? And what I wanted to do, and I hope one of you guys does it if that's okay. Yes. Because you guys are jewelry makers. What I wanted to do was to get these bezel set mm -hmm. in rings. Okay, so each auction is 10 rings and put a tiny colored diamond yes, in Yes, I was just thinking the same that, thing. That's all yeah. I wanted to do and bring them as 70 of these, uh, 10 per auction. That's 700 rings that I would have created for Gems TV for our birthday in October. Wow. And that's what I wanted to do. Tiny diamond, like a point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I would have had a range of different colours. Because I'd have done... That would be well, well, I'd have done 700, so I'd have done 200 with maybe pink diamonds in the centre. Oh! I've done 200 with IF, like a point uh, white diamonds in the centre. Mm. And then maybe 300 um, with, with another fancy coloured diamond in the centre. Yes. Right? And because the diamonds are so small, actually, at this point, because it would probably be a point, mm. I can go really high grade on the diamonds. Yes, So I could okay. say, 
Here's a natural pink diamond. Oh! A red jade ring in 18 karat gold. Imagine bezel set. that. Exactly. And I look at that and I think it makes more commercial sense. Just being honest. Yes. I'm, I'm having a really candid conversation. Make more commercial sense for us. It would be an incredible opportunity. But we bought these initially at the point of inception for jewelry maker, right? Yeah. Designated for jewelry maker. Yeah. And I understand the position of jewelry maker from Scott and Wayne that said, no, come on. You, how many people missed out in that red jade show? And I, I was here. I know mean, hundreds of you missed out. This is your chance. There's 70 opportunities here. And I, I wish to goodness that one of you, with at least one of these, creates that ring. Because it's a travesty that I won't be able to. I will never get to. Um, it's a 15 carat parcel. There are 70 opportunities. And I'm going to bring you oh. a legendary opportunity. I mean that. And I mean, legendary is a word we throw it's around. Like, I mean, this is. You know, people often say, you know, once in a lifetime, yes. once in a blue moon. Yes. This is once in a generation that you, yes. you get the oh chance to own gosh. Red yes. Jade. Now, Susie, who is watching right now, as we know. Yeah. Carol, do you remember when um, she was here? It might, it might have been you, it might have been Al, but I think it was you. Mm -hmm. And we had a, a Red Jade something. Oh, gosh. She and she actually lost. said it was the first time she'd seen Red she'd Jade. She'd seen it, yeah. She'd read about and it. Mom her mum used to go back to Malaysia every mm -hmm. year when she was with us and, 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 and acquired Jade in that mm -hmm. marketplace. And, and obviously... If you grow up, um, you know, with, with Chinese uh, uh, family, mm. then you are going to understand Jadeite. Yes, so of course you are. We understand Jadeite. And we're, we're British. We're not exposed to it as much. China, it's not just a gemstone. Mm. We've talked about it. It has auspicious meanings. It has cultural significance. It's historical. Mm. Yes. It, it is. There was a decree once where only the, the king could, could own this material. That's it has it, yeah. that rich history to it, right? And she said, I cannot believe I'm, I'm seeing red Jadeite. That is the opportunity that is open to you guys. You know, I'm not misleading you. This is a 15 carat parcel of, of type A, by the way, which means natural. No dye. Yeah. No polymer. Mm. Type A red jade in the, what we call the high goo shape, which is a very exacting it's shape. Beautiful. It's very different to a donut. The, the, the size of the central hole yeah. has to be exactly one-fifth the diameter of the outer circumference. Oh. It has to be exactly in the center, and it has to have a dip to it, a, a shallow dish. Um, this is perfect for all. Uh, it is. Yeah. And um, I, I will take one of these auctions and just create 10 rings if I can, yes. if there's one left. But I am not going to hold that from you. I'm not, I could do. I could, like, pull rank and say, fine, Wayne, you win. Can I just take one of these? I'm <laughs> going gonna, gonna to offer them all to you right now. Oh, because wow. I'm going to do the most so incredible auction. But before I even bring you the price, there's going to be no pantomime here, by the way. Um, we owe it to this, this incredible material just to be straight down the barrel. Yeah. There's going to be no, like, oh, let's stop up at this price, let's do minute clocks, gimmicks. I don't care. There are 70 of these, 15 carat parcels of type A red jade. Wow. But before I even, even give you the price, I want to go to JCK, which is so current. It's two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. And again, this gentleman's voice goes extremely high. And the reason it does is because he is candidly talking money. He's talking numbers, right? And he is saying, and you'll see the selection in front of him. It's beautiful. So uh, can, can I just explain as well? I know the, the, you're on the finance. Congratulations. Well done. I think half the stock has gone, or yeah, at least a large he, portion yeah. of it. In my peripheral vision, I can see you. This booth, okay, I've never worked with them. I, I don't have any business relationship with them, but I walk past. And like the Pillar and Stone booth that I know I've shown you before, you know, it's a glass cabinet has glass shelves all the way down, like a jeweler's, like any jewelry shop you've been in before. And he had, all they do is jade. Had all these jades out in wonderful different colors. But then at each end of his, of his booth, right, he had these tall glass cabinets. Yes. Okay? And he had one one side and one the other. And the one side had imperial jade. Yeah, of course. I think yeah. I spoke to you about it, but imperial jade, and about six or seven pieces. Each of them was uh, six figures, so $100,000 minimum. He was kind enough, don't have any business relationship, kind enough, so actually let me hold Imperial Green Jade up for the first time. I've seen it before. Wow. But he was like, do you want to hold it? I was like, yeah. And he got it out. And I'm talking, like we said, when it's, when it's Imperial, it looks fake. Yes. It looks like resin. It looks yes. plastic. It's so incredible. But then on the other end of his booth, he had another tall glass cabinet with, with the pieces you're about to see in it. And it was called the Jadeite Skin oh. exhibit or, or cabinet or whatever. And I just asked him, just out of curiosity, and, and because also I also like to pride myself on trying to give you the same knowledge that I'm acquiring. So try and film as much as I can, try and take you with me, because I know I'm very privileged and lucky to get to travel and do this. So I like to take you guys along with me so we're all on the same equal footing, like a representative, I guess, for you guys. And I said to him, I don't live in Myanmar. You know, I haven't traveled to China in three years now. Mm. And I said, out of the two, just out of curiosity, which is the hardest to source? And this is when he told me, he's still got rough Imperial Jade. He said, this is the material <laughs> wow. I can't get. 
And I was like, that's crazy. And, and Jake was like, I find this material so much more interesting. In fact, you'll hear him on the clip of film. He's talking about this, this, the jadeite skin. Yes. Because I find this really interesting. He goes, well, the only way we can get this now, which is the color I'm giving you, 15 carats off, is if someone passes away. And this is, I'm not a jadeite dealer. This guy only deals in jadeite, and his family have only dealt with jadeite. They don't have diamonds on their booth or tourmalines or garnets, where we bring you everything, opals, whatever. He just deals jade. Every variety he can get his hands on. The best connections in the world. 55 years his family have been doing it. And, he li- and you're going to hear it, but he said, oh yeah, this, this material, my mom, who was next to him, she sold to, to these families for like $5,000, which was the market value then. And he said, and today, the only way I can get hold of the pieces in front of you, which is the red jade eye, none of it's full body, because mm. it's impossible. What we're doing is almost impossible. You've got the white in, in the relief carving coming through. It's not glued on. It's all from one piece. And he said, and I'm paying the market value of today. And obviously, I asked him because I'm so intrigued. I couldn't walk away from that not knowing. I said, well, what is the market value today for that? And he said, oh, the pieces my mom sold were $5,000. I'm buying back between fifty and $70,000. Goodness. And I'm going to give you 15 carats of solid red Taipei jade right now. But before, I'm going to take the JCK so you can hear that firsthand. Take a listen to this. The problem is this. Yeah. This is what people want. And it's very difficult. <laughs> you just can't get that anymore. Yeah. See, I, I, I think this is far more interesting. I love okay. this. But, 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 but basically, the, that, that material there <laughs> yeah. is the material, I mean, you have no more of that. Yeah, so basically, only way we get that material is, it sounds terrible, but somebody dies. Yeah, that's you the know? only way you can get yeah. hold of that material somebody now. Somebody dies and they come in with their parents' jewelry in a box that we sold to them like 30, 40 years ago, and they're like, you do something with this, and we're always like, yeah, of course, we'll buy it from you for, you know, for value today. Wow. So, and how much yeah, has the value changed for that material? So it's gone from five thousand dollars really to seventy thousand. Yeah. Wow. That's incredible. You know, but that's literally the only way we're getting that. Wow. You uh, and, and you guys have been in the industry for what half a century? Fifty-five years. Yeah. So you know, it's uh... So you saw, you, you heard it for Yeah. Know, and I love sharing that clip of film because it's so current. Yeah. It's like, hey guys, remember three years ago? That was two weeks ago. Yeah. In Las Vegas. The gentleman's pro- probably still in North America now because he said mm. he wasn't going straight back because of the quarantine. They're trying to try and stay as long as they can. There's other shows taking place. Um, this material, there it is. There's the quote. <laughs> if I had to wow. guess, $5,000 back in the day, now it's like fifty dollars to $70,000. Okay, so $5,000 back it? in the day. Let, let's, let's just do a fifth of the price 30 years ago. Let's go 900 pounds. Let's just do that right now. Okay. It's going to sell out this price, by the way, but it's not <laughs> my final price. I'm going to do you an incredible deal, and you guys know that. But I'm going to give you a quarter, essentially, of a price that you couldn't get this for 30 years ago. 900 pounds is what we're going to bring you. For 15 carats of 15 carats, not a carat, not red you haven't got. You don't just get two or three of these, all 10, ten. of these incredible haigu carvings. Solid body car- In fact, can you take any one of those, Carol, and turn it over so they can see it's full body, front and back? Oh, absolutely. You know, this is unbelievable. Eight, nine, nine, okay. And it's and it's and and also on the chart which you've been which you kindly kind of have circled. Yeah. It is that it's not like oh it's kind of up there no, no, with no. It, it is it's it, it's exactly that color. Okay, Ollie, can I have a minute clock? I told oh. you we're not gonna we're not gonna we're not gonna go and full pantomime shopping TV on this. I'll, okay. give, you, I'll give you I'll give you an incredible deal on your screen, but I promise you the best deal, and I'm going to give you that right now. Okay. Um, half the stock is gone. We only have 70 opportunities. Yeah. Which is a huge you know, collective carrot weight. 15 right. carats. Yeah. Is what we're dealing with here. The colours, you, the colour you are getting here, the quality of the colour you are getting here is yeah. absolutely phenomenal. Absolutely, and it's, and it's so uniform. And uh, it is, and I'm thinking this little divot here, phenomenal for gem setting, and absolutely. If, if for there's a lot diamonds. of people multi buying. I hope one of you might create the ring, or indeed, oh. imagine, imagine jadeite by the yard. You know, stations. Absolutely. You've got ten. You've got ten. So stations of red jadeite along the neckline, or cascading red jadeite earrings framing the face. Definitely. It's a, it's a, it's a multitude of design options. Putting fine silk silk through the eyes oh, yes. of these gems and literally having them in a beautiful bracelet just going all the way around your wrist maybe with gold uh, wire with silver wire that would be absolutely stunning um right we're at 899 a massive congratulations to those of you that have been on early even bigger congratulations to, to those of you who have multi-bought final price on these i can't believe i'm about to say it is 149 
is 149. Well done. And congratulations. If, if you have the chance to multiply, oh, I don't know if you will now, gosh. but if you are still on the phone lines, try. Yeah, 149, <laughs> Tom. And you get split pay, which makes it amazing. It's oh. a massive carrot weight, 15 carats. That is incredible. Yeah. 149 pounds on four. 37 pound 25 on your interest free split payments. There's not even 100 of these guys. That's even at the start incredible. of this auction, there was only. Um, 70 that was it that's our total lot and there's not another red jade coming up after this this is what we saved from the original show it's never been seen before and i'm bringing it to you as part of this showcase I, right now I, if you can multiply i them. literally can't believe this because you're I'm, holding 15 I'm, carrots in your hand exactly and i'm sitting here thinking to myself right so so i, I obviously i want to make you know the customers our, our, our incredible viewers aware this is obviously isn't indicative of what these would retail for be valued for this isn't even a trade deal no, i don't know what kind of a deal this actually it, is you know there, there is actually a deal before of the price you pay wholesale, the which is at, at source, and you wouldn't get this at source. No, that's exactly it. I've been it. to Panama. You know, I've, I'm very fortunate to have been yeah. to Panama, and I remember picking up uh, just a green jade bangle. I showed the clip this morning on the other channel. Oh and yes, at, of in course. Myanmar, yeah, fifteen thousand dollars at jade source. That's not even wholesale. Wholesale, yeah. someone's making a profit after that. Yeah. Then there's retail. You, know, you are getting a parcel of, of a gigantic carrot of red jadeites. And, mm. you know, I've only seen red jadeites other than this moment, another time in my life, which was, you know, two weeks ago at JCK. And you saw oh, the prices phenomenal. they were quoting for that material. Absolutely superb. Huge congratulations to everyone coming through together. Christine, it. Maker, Liz, Maria, Claire, A in Cheshire, Kath, Town and Weir, Barbara in Buckinghamshire, yeah. Susan Lancashire. Um, minute clock. No. Uh, look, I've no. got five minutes left with you. I want to see every single name. I, usually they say, yeah, okay, and the rest are just going through. I want to see you. So, I'm, yeah, the clock started. Uh, uh, if you want to add another, I'm going to do it now. And again, Carol, I've, I've, I've you know, made a rod from my own back, so I'm saying to you, I don't I take five or ten pounds off. You know, I take a big chunk off if I'm going to do this. Okay. Uh, 40 seconds to get on the phone lines. Just to make you aware, anybody who's got this in baskets, I've got enough in baskets for this to sell out about five times. Yeah, we're, we're, so uh, that's the other thing I'm going to say. I, Tom, only take confirmations on this. Don't uh, judge it as in, okay, there's 30 on the phone lines. Exactly. I'm only taking confirmations. I'm only taking confirmations on this 15 carat yeah. parcel. So we have oh to gosh. check out if you want to secure this. This really is an opportunity of a generation, as Dave said yes, earlier absolutely. on. This is, this is something which cannot be repeated. It's I don't even know how many we have left, but maybe 20. If you want to be with the chance of yeah. winning those, then be as quick as you can. Oh, my gosh, Dave, go on. Go okay, on. 99 pounds. Oh, no, yes. It's what, it's what we do. That. You know, I'm not going to go 129 or 139 or whatever. Not messing around. 99 pounds, which you're still going to get your split payments, <laughs> which are interest free. You are owning this. You are acquiring this. You're putting it That's into amazing. future generations. And we want to talk about future generations. Yes. Th those families that go back and it's been in their generation, their parents passed it on to them. They bought it for $5,000 and, and they're selling it today for 50, between 50 and 70. It's crazy. Uh, yeah. uh, Maria in Surrey, 27 seconds ago. Hi, Dave. Thank you. I wasn't going to buy today. Couldn't resist the red jade. It's fabulous quality. Thank you so much for, oh. for, for you know, uh, for commenting well on the quality of our jade, it's, it's really good to hear. She'll be delighted. She got them before the price crashed as wow. well. That's absolutely superb. $99.99, four individual split payments of $24.99. Huge congratulations. Are you going to miss out on this? Are you going to miss out on this? Because oh, you, can't. you just found that clip, Bolly, that said a box that we sold 30, 40 years ago to them. This yes. So this is what he was telling me, a box that we sold to them 30, 40 years ago. He's just bought back. $5,000. He's buying back for $70,000. My gosh. That tells you everything you need to know about the quality and the price points and the design. Well, how much has the value changed for that material? You can see my question to him there. If I had to <laughs> guess, five thousand dollars back in the day, now it's like fifty to seventy thousand dollars. Thousand. That's exquisite. That bangle, yeah. beautiful. Ninety. And look at the and look at the colour, the solid. Absolutely. There the is more of an orange. The, the, yes, the, the, that one's more of like an orange, and you know that was filmed on my phone. And then you can see these live in the studio, how red they are. Oh. Um, Liz and sorry, JM hits it out of the park again. Thank you, Dave and team from Liz. Thank you for, for taking That's the time amazing. to message in, Liz. Always lovely to hear your comments. Yeah, that, that, that is absolutely amazing. Did you see that message? JM hits it out of the park again. Thanks, Dave. That was such a great text. Thank you so much for your messages today. That is red, and, and Remember, red, this red. gentleman saying who's, who's been in the industry, his family been in the industry for 55 years, the only way, as you can read, we're getting red jade out now 
is is um, unfortunately so if someone passes, someone passes away yeah yeah oh my word well done we've literally got the single figures remaining that is a huge huge opportunity for you today the opportunity of a lifetime and possibly even for uh, generations to come as well what Absolutely. a what a privilege to be able to bring well done, that guys. to you that's super. and a massive well done to those of you doubling your saving multi buying well done yeah that's superb well done okay do we have time for one more? If, if, if you guys do. We've got this. We've got this strand. So this is an ombre. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, eight gradients of green. So nice. And the only way now you can achieve red jadeite is in this. Mirror. Yeah. Mirror imaged. Oh my gosh. So it's an ombre of green, which is extraordinarily difficult to do. Look at that. And then your red jadeite is positioned in there as well. It's a finished piece of jewelry, essentially. It's, it's world class. I'm going to do one fantastic deal on this and i think okay. you know where i'm going to go the carrot weight is huge um we're, we're going to bring the graphics in right now you can see the translucency yes you can see the glow you can see the quality of this type a jadeite all put together 140 yes. carats how many of these do we have i think we have 170. how many do we have neary about 170. i have to say um dave the, the colors in here there's some and the glow beautiful. there's so some what looks like blues yeah. and lavenders yeah, got, it's a multi-colored yeah Collection of jade. Look at those apple it, It's astonishing. Right. I'm yeah, that's do... really good. Okay. I'm not even going to give you a start price on this. I'm just going to give you one deal. Okay? <laughs> one deal. One minute clock. This is it. 170 opportunities. And they are all going today. 140 carats. Glowing, translucent, rainbow jade eye, all type A. You've got your matched reds, you've got those blue grays, you've got these incredible glowing greens, you've got the ombre, the transition of colors, and you've got 46 seconds to get involved. I've got Ollie, I've got Neary, I've got Wayne in my ear, and Debbie will be able to hear them as well, literally just talking prices, going, I think, I reckon he's gonna do this, I reckon he's, but what if he does this? Oh gosh, no! And no one knows, no one knows, and I don't no have an earpiece. No actually knows! Well, I don't have an earpiece. Uh, well, there's no prices on my star, by the, uh, there's nothing. There's no price, and you don't have a. Absolutely. You don't have. He'd be e too easily distracted, I think. I um. definitely agree with you. Uh, <laughs> you've got 20 seconds. There's 170. It pays to be think it's in the on the phone rooms. lines oh, gosh. early. Two, four, six. There's your your beautiful uh, red uh, jadeites as well. Four of those in those match setting. Then you've got. I mean, they're they're, they're so gem quality. They're so translucent. Right, 99. 99 pounds, 99 wow. pounds, 140 carats, red jadeites, green jadeites. There's some Olmec kind of colors in there as well. It's a multicolored strand. It's a consistent color throughout. And they've used it here to create that, that impressive display. And then give me another minute clock. There's about 100 on I'm the going strand. going again. This I've is my final to... deal. Yeah, there's about 100 on the strand, which is about a million miles away from every price. Uh, absolutely, that they said. Uh, absolutely. Well, exactly. And I'm not even going to go in there and speak to them. Oh, I'm hang on, you've do, got another clock. I'm going rogue, just so you know. I'm going again, Carol. I'm going again. So if you think this is a million miles away <laughs> from what they want, I'm going again. And I've just decided oh, yeah, there's everyone's no way near there. enough of you. Um, oh, 170 gosh. of these available. And I am going this again. Week. And it is look, rogue, look but it is my final this. deal. Yeah. Oh. I th I'm going to just say something to you because I'm the only person here that actually knows the price I'm going to do. Go on. You're going to multi buy. So you'll know, just do it now. So oh, Yeet gosh. A, you've multi bought. Cheshire, you've multi bought. We're going in a big way. Uh, oh, gosh. Yeah, d definitely put this in your malas. Make, uh, you know, get your larger beads, make them into, uh, uh, put your gurus with them. I, I, remember I no remember what the idea was for this show? Material that we cannot get going forward. So the huge master carvings. The yes. 85 carats. And the, the red. red jade eye. And now you've got these multi colors with the translucency. Right, guys, I'm speaking to the gallery. Um, I'm going to do uh, 49 99 on this. That's what I'm doing for you. My final deal. You're still going to get your split pay. We should be higher than 99 oh. But, you know, we, we don't want to run over uh, on time. We want to give you an incredible deal. It's 140 carats. I don't think there's enough to go around. The I don't language know. is as much blue as in the gallery. Oh, but So are some my. of the jades in this I didn't even I know those words existed, Dave. Okay, well, look. 
Look, at, all I'll say to... Look to, at the split paint! In my defence, no. in my defence, all I'm saying to the guys in the gallery is, look at how busy it is, look how many collectors Billions we are. Billions of 12.49 on split pay. Oh, my gosh! Absolutely. And you've got those blue-grey colours. Yes. You've got the white colours. You've got the, the, the beautiful open greens uh, transitioning through into this incredible saturation. Then you've got the red jades. And you see two there. There's a further two on the strand as well, mirrored against each other. What's, it is matched perfectly. Dave, remind me, what's that blue called? Olmec it, blue. Olmec blue, yeah. that's it. It is like an Olmec blue. Absolutely. These I mean, are exquisite. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this little collection here. Just that. Just that. Just look that. Look at that. Just that's that worth for forty nine ninety nine. Yes. Yeah. Those two there are worth kind of three times that amount. But just those there. That's yeah. exquisite. Two split paints. Um, you know, amazing. But you've got it for forty nine ninety nine. Yeah. It's meant to be over. It's meant to be over hundred pounds, isn't it? When yeah. we start to Yeah. So when I went to ninety nine ninety nine. Look, I was confident that that That's would sell out. It would take a lot longer, but it would sell out. And I just want to give oh. you this incredible... Day. Susie's on the phone lines again. Of course she is. I think you were the first, Susie, or the third person on the phone lines. Uh, we've got this epic opportunity. Like I said, 140 carats. That's amazing. Light green and multicoloured Jane rounds with that translucency. Oh. The amount of people coming through to get this. I've got 60, 60 people in uh, baskets at the minute. I, we only is... had 170. We only had 170 and, you know, usually at the right price, that's enough. But when you go this low, you should have a thousand, you know, because of the, 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 the likely demand that we're seeing right now in the contacts. And we're trying to get through your calls. Yeah, so please definitely. bear with us. It is a free phone number. A Might be people. a couple of minutes wait on the phone lines, but I've told you, you're going to be waiting a lot longer than that to see this material again going forward. That's what this showcase is all about. Irreplaceable. Irreplaceable. Unparalleled quality. Right. Yeah. I, I, I am just, I am bowled over by what we're doing today. I cannot believe. And I, and I think back to the jade art that we got years ago, mm -hmm. kind of, even kind of pre-pandemic, and it bears no relevance no. to this. And that was kind of 80, 90 pounds a stone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is we're, 49. Look at the, these colours you are getting here. Again, it's, the, it's, it's that water content as well, that translucency we talked about, the, the openness. Truly translucent jade eye in the most appealing and attractive and rarest colours in one single strand. And it's not like 30 carats, it's 140 carats. There are so many people on the phone lines. We're going to have to give the call centre a chance to catch up. They are, uh, Kim, I know your call's just been answered. So is Janet's as well. Dave, thank you thank so, you very so much. much. Uh, thank you to you guys as well for, for joining us as part of your weekend. It's always great to see your names. I hope you've got one of these incredible deals. Oh, and I'll see you, you again very, very soon. Thank you. Coming up next, the most amazing channel setting masterclass. Debbie is primed, ready to go. This is going to be incredible. We'll see you in a sec. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. Hey guys, it's Sarah Davies here. I just want to say you have got to tune in on Monday because it is going to be a big day. I'm going to be in the studios and I am taking over. I'm going to be on Sewing Street Live from 8 o'clock in the morning. Jewelry maker from 11 o'clock and then hobby maker from 1 o'clock. Now, when we do one of our big takeover days, trust me, it is a day you do not want to miss. We've got goodie bags, we've got some amazing special deals, I've got a ton of demonstrations, brand new product launches, I've got the team in with me. It is going to be epic. So, whatever you do, do not miss it. Whether you're a sewer, whether you love your jewellery making, whether you love your paper craft, we've got something for everyone. So I'll see you on Monday, 8 o'clock on Sewing Street, from 11 o'clock on Jewellery Maker, and from 1 o'clock on Hobby Maker. We'll be there all day. I can't wait to see you there. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call centre with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three, or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay.
Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. I'm not sure what happened, just happened on Hobby Maker, but something just broke. What happened, Jimmy? What have you done? Did you drop a bauble? Oh, we've got, oh, oh, it was you, Chloe. I just passed obviously. Let's go to the overhead and watch Jimmy tidying it all up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jimmy! <laughs> oh, bless him! No, don't look at me. <laughs> me, me. Uh, Chloe's pointing. <laughs> Oh, the unprofessional <laughs> nature is crazy. I think we share loads. I think we probably share too much. TMI. Anyway, too much information. Um, <laughs> Debbie. Oh, Hello. I tell you what, when we saw the lineup for this afternoon's masterclass uh, the other day, and it was Georgia who was talking to myself and Neri about it, she was so excited <laughs> about this. And I have to say, this really, this is a really special launch that we've got here, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I have never made a channel setting from scratch because it's just so difficult, so time consuming. Mm. Um, of course, I've set them, but to actually make them is just, well, I think we're going to show, it just takes an absolute age. So. Yeah. You know, you need a lot of equipment. So I think to be able to actually buy something of this quality mm. with calibrated gemstones, because that's the secret. They've all got to be exactly the same. Absolutely. If you seat one slightly lower, you've got to seat them all slightly lower. So to be able to buy something like this so that you can have a go at channel setting without all of that extra expense, it's quite amazing, actually. It's interesting when you... 
when you think about a channel setting and you and you think about how as Debbie just said if you set one at this height you've got to set them all at this height and it's interesting you were saying that when you do do your channel setting you tend to um you tend to have on really kind of relaxing music because this is not something to do if you've only got five no. minutes this is not no. something and it's not because it's and it's not because it's going to take hours and hours and hours no. but you've just got to take your time yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. um and you can make a piece in you know in 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 you know half an hour if you want to but but don't rush it don't do it if you're in a bad mood just just go it's, it's actually a thing like when i was learning mm. to metal smith they said you know don't saw when you're stressed hammer when you're stressed and we we make a joke of That's, it yeah like making bread but when you're trying to hurry to do, and oh this isn't working you've got to be really quite chill give mm. yourself time give yourself space and you'll end up with an absolutely lovely piece of jewelry you absolutely will and um just to give you an idea of this design and what it takes to create this design, have a little look at this. So we've got, uh, this, is, this is a channel setting, not the exact channel setting, but this is a channel setting being created over in um, our workshop in India. And you can see the tiny little adjustments. That's yeah. actually making a channel set ring, but you can see there the tiny minuscule and you can see he's literally pressing the tool against his thumb to make sure it's steady yep. that that angle is exactly right it is so it is look and he's turning it around he's offering it up and he's doing look you can see there literally pushing the gemstone in taking it out pushing it in take it does it fit is it exactly right look at the tools he's got there the tools he's got there to kind of create that exact channel for that calibrated stone because without getting without having that channel absolutely set um perfectly perpendicular you know perfectly parallel to each other mm. it's not going to work um i find looking at stuff like that really interesting and it, and it really makes me appreciate the work that goes into creating these pieces but that isn't it i've got a powerpoint that i want to show you and this is something which georgia sent us and it was br brilliant to get this information i love it I, I, I think it's absolutely brilliant step one research read about the technique and identify that uh, the technique uh, could be too complex maybe for beginners step two uh, assess process um, assess the process a jeweler would go through to channel set stones and design a component that matches what the metal looks like just before the stones are set in. Step three, send the design to the supplier to draw in CAD. Okay, so that's a computer aided design. Step four, supplier produces the finished design and ships it to our UK warehouse. Now that sounds like, oh, it's just the next step. That will take months. That's the part which takes absolutely months because once it's a CAD design, it's then made into a wax mold. It's then, um, uh, you then get what, what's called a tree and it's basically a long rod of solid sterling silver with about a hundred of these channel set components all the way around them and it looks like a tree. You then have to take those off, you have to file them, you have to polish them, you have to make sure that the apertures on the back, which are these, are perfectly clean and clear and crisp. If they're not, it's not going to work. You've got to, the quality control process this will have gone through is so extensive. You've got to make sure that the inside is be beautifully polished. You've got to make sure that, um, again, nothing is left behind because if you, with the sterling silver, there will be little burrs left over little kind of um uh, notches left over yeah. that quality control process is crazy and then it's and then and only then is it shipped to the uk step five the uh, the products are sent to the um to the design to make jewelry i'm with. a step <laughs> yeah. i'm step five you are a step i'm a step you are a step i've never um, been a step before <laughs> <laughs> i um love this process i think this is really interesting and it really break breaks it down and it brings us closer and gives us a greater appreciation of how these pieces are created what goes into making these pieces i own a um a, a, a beautiful channel set ring and um and the the 
the attention to detail, not just with the with the the smithing of the of the um, of the precious metal, but with putting the gemstones in as well, is next level. Yeah. Not that it's necessarily more difficult. I'd, I'd, I'd probably consider something like a tension setting to be possibly even more tricky. But it's making sure that each one of those gemstones you treat in exactly the same way. And if you do that, and if you follow those really easy steps, and, and as Debbie will talk about as well, there are some really fantastic tools that you can get on the market which will really aid, aid this mm -hmm. process for you, being able to set these. But you do this, and you can end up with a piece of jewellery that looks like this. Uh, this is professional. This is like a piece of Gemporia jewellery. This is. This looks fully made, fully finished, ready to go. That looks like it's been made by a professional. I mean, not that you aren't professional, Debbie, but it looks like <laughs> it's been made. Looks like it's been manufactured. Yeah, and I think you that, must be so proud of that. Well, I, d I think being able to because to be honest, I know people people laugh at me when I say this, and I say I don't have patience for fiddly, and they say don't be silly, you're a jewelry designer. But oh I, my gosh! I don't have patience for setting a seat for gemstones and having to make them all the same and like everything that's done for me here and I totally understand the little tiny bit increments that it's taken to get these gemstones to sit into that seat and to make this from scratch would be something that I just wouldn't bother doing because if I can buy it and it works just as well, you're still what? setting it. Tell me what your thoughts were when you first saw that zircon because... Diamond. I, <laughs> it, it so is. It's, you can't help it. You can't help it. You can't help it because you look at it and you go, diamonds. It you looks, can't help it. Yeah, it looks like a diamond bracelet. Flawless diamond bracelet. Whoa! They're they, big. And I tell you what, I'm, 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 I think, yeah, I'm wearing my diamond earrings today, and they look a darn sight better than my <laughs> diamond <laughs> earrings. They really do. That is more fire than a diamond. It's whiter than any diamond that I will ever be able to afford. It's larger than any diamond I will ever be able to afford. It's crisper and cleaner and older than, 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 than kind of any diamond in the entire world. It is unbelievable. Leavable. This is, this is, this is jewellery making, uh, this, take, this is taking it to the next level. And you'll see very quickly and you'll learn very quickly that the, that the, the trick is to take your time to remain calm and to give yourself, to allow yourself that time. Not because it's going to take hours and hours and hours to do but just be really, just really let your heart rate kind of calm down. This is the component. I tell you what, you can really feel the weight on Can't this. Can't you? It's a, it's a quality component, definitely. It's There's a lot of silver in there. Um, it's been made beautifully. I love the fact that it's on the slider bracelet. Me too. Um, it just gives it that very contemporary feel. Yeah. Um, and it does, it looks like, if you had that on, that you had a diamond. Absolutely. A uh, diamond channel set. Now, the bracelet. gram weight, I think, mm, it says four grams. I'm, it, for me, it actually feels like slightly more, but I, I, I don't know. I, I, I'm not a great, I'm not a great, well, no, but I just, it, it just, it just, oh, 4.3, 4.3 grams. There we go. 4.3 grams. It just, you just look at it and you go, oh, it just, it just looks like it's maybe slightly more than that. <laughs> uh, well, 4.29 it says there, but let's just say 4, it was 4.3 a couple of seconds ago. 4.3 grams, there you go. Uh, which is, which is just, which is, it's incredible, that gram weight. I mean, it's absolutely super. Look at that, Michael. That, that, that's amazing. That's on a bracelet. That's absolutely superb. Just for that component, that's, that's, that's a lot. That is a lot of silver. The process, this will have taken months. Do you know what? Just going back, you know, the uh, beautiful uh, shaker lockets that we bought you uh, on Monday. 
They were on the product plan in December. Yeah. And it's taken us seven months to get them in stock. To my knowledge, these have been on the product plan since about, no, uh, uh, since about December, January. It's taken us this long to get them in because of the amount of silver, because of the pandemic, because everything it just is, is, is kind of taking its sweet, sweet time at the minute. Um, we're slowly getting back to normal, whatever normal is anymore. So you've got your incredible sterling silver setting. And let's face it, that is a, that is a, that is a, it is like a gold ingot, isn't it? It's like a gold yeah. bar of, uh, of, of, of beauty. I'm obviously very, I mean, it, 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 literally, this is, we've got so many people with this in their uh, baskets. It's amazing. Now, here's the best thing. If you're thinking, and it's quite right to be thinking this, if you're thinking, if you're thinking this is going to be, you know, something brand new, you know, jewelry maker will obviously do the best price that they can, but this is going to be 89.99. Or even or even knowing what the quality of the stones is, knowing what the gorgeous sterling silver gram weight is, knowing what the quality of the cut is, knowing that they are all perfectly calibrated um, um, uh, white genuine zircons, the old the oldest gemstone in the world. Even knowing our incredible prices on Jewelry Maker, what is the lowest price? Sapney, you've got 10 in your basket, darling. What is the lowest price point you reckon we can do? 49.99? No way. This is what Jewelry Maker can do. And honestly, for everyone who's there now, you are in for a treat because today your price, this is astonishing. $29.99. That is ab That's for amazing. a brand new component that we have designed exclusive to Jewelry Maker, a world exclusive here with your ice white diamonds, the very first of its kind, the very first channel set component we have commissioned on Jewelry Maker. This is an opportunity to really immerse yourself in the most amazing type of gem setting. This isn't about rushing. This isn't about creating something in 15 minutes. This is about taking your time and enjoying every single solitary moment that you will have setting those five gemstones. Imagine making this, gifting this. If you have any other calibrated stones of this size, and I believe that they are five, are they five? No, they're four, they look like they're four mil, maybe. Four, five mil, four mil, thank you, uh, Neri. Four mil in size, I know, I should know. Um, then my word, chakras or birthstones, it's entirely up to you. You just need to make sure that they are absolutely calibrated. If you've got a gemstone gauge, then you'll be able to tell if they are calibrated. If they need to be exactly four mil. If they're not four mil, then it, it won't work as well. 29.99. This is so lovely. This is revolute. This is this again is another type of gem setting. Whenever we bring you different types of gem setting, whether it's tab setting, rub over setting, bezel setting, gallery wire setting, there's a new generation of gem setters, and this is. This is like the holy grail of gem setting, channel setting. If you can channel yeah. set, this is traditional, but as you can see, it's contemporary with the slider. It's got, it's got absolutely everything, hasn't it? I think if somebody, uh, by the way, I've lost my talk back. I don't know if my batteries have gone so if someone's oh, telling me what Oh, it happens to, to us all, love. Um, but this is because I need to be zen when I, when I set these. <laughs> um, the thing with this is, when you've done sort of your basic stone setting, and you come to think about channel setting, it could really put you off to think that you might have to make the actual piece of jewelry yourself, especially if it's going to be formed with tools that you don't have. Now with something like this, it's an absolutely great introduction to your channel setting. Yeah. Because you've already got your mount there ready. Yeah. And you've got these gorgeous gemstones. Again, trying to source gemstones that are calibrated to the point of being able to set them. And this is where a lot of people go wrong. They actually try and set gemstones that aren't exactly calibrated. And when you're dealing with, you've got five um, gemstones here, they've all got to be, and like gemstones can vary as we know, by like, you know, quite a bit. A I mean, tenth I haven't, of a uh, millimeter. Yeah, tenth of a millimeter. Yes. I haven't got my calipers here. I usually sort of, but these have got to be sitting at a certain height. Absolutely. 
Second kit, which I know is your favourite kit. I'm going to show you what it looks like in on the overhead when you're ready. Because honestly, oh my gosh, that is electrifying. Yeah, sorry about the blue tack, but I need to get. Oh, the I love up. a bit of blue tack. That's how I. That's how I secure all my jewellery. Um, that is. That looks like. <laughs> that is like. Gra uh, that is like quad A tanzanite. It's got oh. blues and lilacs in it. The colours popping. Yeah. So look at it popping on the that. The colour of it amazing. is. You know, wouldn't it have been a shame if we had this amazing mount that's taken us so long to bring you and then we were like a bit meh with the gemstones? Oh. But they haven't disappointed, have they? No. <laughs> this is natural, what looks like uh, Zambian amethyst. I mean, if somebody had told me this is Moroccan amethyst, I'd believe them, but I, I believe it's Zambian. There's I, pinks I, I in there. Yeah, the pinks are incredible. Can you see the blues in there? The kind of cobalt blues yep. in there, which, which is why I think it looks like Moroccan amethyst. I mean, it's absolutely phenomenal. Against the silver, it is... It is delicious isn't it absolutely superb with this kit because oh gosh now the zircon that we bought you was immense quality absolutely immense quality however you could argue that amethyst is a more plentiful stone however we're talking about this amethyst mm. we're talking about this grade this caliber this providence this pedigree if this was a, you know, you know, if the, uh, this is like the dictionary definition of amethyst, isn't it? I don't know how we can do this. How many of this kit do we have, Neri? No, no, this one here. Yeah, okay. So we got we got just a, just shy of a hundred of this one available. Okay. Get involved when you can. Just put it in your basket. You love it. You want to get it. Put it in your basket because we've got something really special in store for you right here. Uh, don't forget, we are going to be bringing the masterclass demonstration as well, which is really exciting. We've also got the Stardust bundle as well, which we're definitely going to be playing between now and the end of the show as well, uh, which is absolutely incredible. We are going to be giving you the best possible deal for this. Um, it is a gorgeous kit. Like I said, any other gemstones that you've got, which are definitely um, uh, the right size, and do check them on your uh, with your calipers or with your gemstone gauge. And completely natural, says Liz. I know, Liz. You can't beat it. Isn't that the best? It's stunning. And, you know, I know a lot of jewellers who say when they're making things to sell that they wouldn't even cast this mount because it would cost them more to cast this mount than the price that we're about to go to i'm oh i'm blown gosh. away by this yeah so to buy it set it and sell it when you factor in your time is incredible night i can't even it's it's ridiculous it it, it is I ridiculous can't. it's 19.99 this is not only giving you the chance to do and experience one of the most one of the most universally loved types of gem setting, but at nineteen ninety nine, it's under twenty pounds for this level. You've seen the process. You've seen the step after step after step after step of process, which is involved in creating these pieces. You've seen that process, that 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 flow chart, if you like, of the process. It is the it is one of the most challenging components to make. And as, and, as, um, and as Debbie said, this isn't something that she would even ever, you know, you never attempt to make this, you know, just a one-off one channel set. But this is, this is seriously time consuming to make this component here. To set the gemstones in isn't necessarily time consuming, but you've got to make sure that you're in the right frame of mind where you're willing to go, no, I'm going to go back. I'm going to start again. I'm going to, you've seen on the video as well that we just showed you, the gentleman who was making that um, um, uh, channel set ring, taking the gem out, putting it back yeah, in, yeah. just doing a little tiny tweak, um, taking it out, putting it back in. And, 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 that's, exactly, and, and that's exactly what is, that, that is why these components work so beautifully because of those little tweaks you can yeah, see. because he's made that from scratch. He's obviously making a finished ring there. Yeah. So what he's attempting to do now is cut the seat into the finished piece yes. of jewellery. So he needs to make gemstone sure in. that every... So he's putting the gemstone in. He's making sure it sits 
where he wants it to, and then, and then he's taking it, it out, out and making the, the adjustments. Now, he needs to do that, that for every single every one of these five stones that we've oh got in this map. Oh, my gosh. Now, yeah. you know, if anyone else has got the patience to do that, hats, <laughs> hats off to you. Hats off, yeah. um, I know I do this for a living, but if I can get this for 19 99 why would I? Exactly, exactly. But, but, but the whole point of us showing you that flowchart and showing you that video is just to kind of really drive home that it is not... It is not something which you go, oh, yeah, make a CAD design, make a mod, boom, bish, bash, bosh, you're done. No, that is not the case. This is, this is something which is the, the success of this component, yes, is down to Debbie's incredible skill set, but also down to the guys who make these and put these together. That is where the skill is as well. And we, we've got to, to recognise that. Demo, can't wait to see this demo. <laughs> now... If you make a lot of jewellery and you are a metalsmith, you will know that you've probably got a Fordham um, or a similar What's a Fordham? Um, handset, a, mm -hmm. a pendant drill, and you quite possibly have got a hammer handset. Now, a hammer handset is what a professional jeweller who makes jewellery all day in large quantities would use to channel set. And what that is, is just a, um, a, a, a piece of equipment that goes on the end of your pendant drill. And it kind of, it, it kind of goes and it hammers very gently. And obviously it's controlled by your foot pedal, just as, oh, as your brilliant. pendant drills okay. usually are. And it just pushes that metal in and that makes very easy yeah like like a sewing needle as ollie says but it literally it's got like a little tiny um mandrel and it goes tuk, 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 wow. and you, it works up the side and it pushes the metal in now we've gone old Without school it all. we've gone yeah. old school because yeah i do have that and i was like right let's go old school because it's a big investment yeah. to actually have this equipment yes of course so what yeah. i set this with is a pusher um, I also used my um, burnishers, so my pusher was the main tool. I used two burnishers, yeah. so I used my agate burnisher, I love the agate burnisher. I, my, one of my favourite tools. It's brilliant. I used my metal burnisher, a hammer, and a punch was my magic weapon. Oh. If you look on um, hand chan. If you look at um, hand channel setting, old school. Okay. They use old punch. school with a K. <laughs> so you won't necessarily need this. It depends how long you work on it. But if you work, work on it for quite a while, you're going to start to work hard in the metal. Yes. Now, you don't really want to be annealing this unless you remove the slider part of the chain. Now, I haven't looked closely enough, but I think it's soldered on. Which, you know, it's not the end of the world. You could snip it off and resolder it. Yeah. But because it's a slider bracelet, you've got that little mechanism inside the slider bracelet that's silicone, isn't yes, it? Yes, you don't want so to You don't want to be heating that. Yes, heating it up. So, what, the very, very first thing, and I'm going to talk through some of this and do some of this because what you need to do is have your oh, optimizer you you on need to be right over you it have as well. to have i've got to be right over and a lot of the time i would stand in my workshop and do this so i'm going to show you a little bit talk but i've got to be back here for the camera to see this is a dvd really it's not hard you just need patience very first thing to do even though these stones are calibrated you need to pop them in and make sure that they're sitting in now i don't know how close we can get on this ollie is it possible to get in as close as we possibly can just Oh, right, okay. And I can't move it to the side. But what I'll do is I'll show you with my tweezers. Oh, thank you, Ollie. That's so. Oh, that's amazing. Thank you. Oh, so that's awesome. You've got a lip, which you won't be able to see unless you look sideways. Um, and your gemstones are actually sitting underneath. Yes, this you can lip. see they've can you got. See? Yes. So, what you haven't got is any gemstone protruding across the top. They're so, if I put something same. flat there, you will see that the can you see oh that's perfect thank you so they're all sitting possibly apart from this one that i can see is wonky no this one that one can you see that sticking up yeah so what you're going to have to just make sure is and this takes time is to sit down use your tweezers and just make sure that they are going to sit yes. in yeah, now, I yeah. start, all jewellers do things different, like doctors, they agree and disagree. This is how I do it. Um, I start with my central gemstone. I find it easier to actually 
space it out. You've got, if you start with the one on the end and your positioning's off, then when you get to the middle, you might not be able to position that gemstone. Yeah. So starting off in the middle. Once I've made sure that all of my gemstones are perfectly sat in the seat which they were in the two that i had i've not had to do any work on mm. them now if you do find that you've got one pesky one that's sitting up very slightly yeah what you can do is get your burr and don't attach it to your pendant drill put it in and just gently twist it in your fingers it might just be that tiny little bit of metal oh, that's in the finishing yeah, okay. but as i say i haven't had that with the two that i've had they've been perfect so what i'm going to do and this is where you've got to be careful is with the gemstones. I'm going to leave in three and I'm going to remove two. So this is just a piece of blue tack. Now, a little tip here, if you're using your ball vise, if you've got a ball vise, yeah. you might want to pop some sellotape over here because <laughs> when you're lifting your gemstones out and in, they can go in the little holes. No, you can get them out, but it's a complete pain to have oh, to lift Oh gosh, it all I off. bet that's a right nightmare. It's a pain. <laughs> Not that it's happened to me. Yes, it has. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to be as as accurate as I can, not being in the correct and, and position. Just, and just to say quickly, when when I've seen um, guest designers like uh, Claire McDonald, for instance, um, gem setting, she quite often has her bench right up here, and yeah. she's kind of Eye at level. this level, yeah. or low enough so you can get right over it so yeah. this is rather unnatural for debbie to be working like this but for the purposes of the show it's important that that you can see what she's doing and comedy, and, and value. comedy value because that Luke, looks amazing i am your father I yeah <laughs> do you know oh, once i, I put a picture of when i was working to the shop like that of this and the mask you know because you've got to have your mask of course, yeah and then someone went to me oh deb why do you bother just seed bead <laughs> Just do a jigsaw <laughs> yeah, instead, just, love. Don't worry about it. Just what do a doing? jigsaw, love. Far less dangerous. You've got to be safe. Less, you yeah. can't be inhaling any metal. Okay, so obviously I've got my hair back. There's no other safety concerns to think about. Um, there's Apart no from metal me. flying up. I'll, I'm not I'll keep, filing I'll, I'll anything. Keep my distance. <laughs> okay. You don't want me in. There. So just to show you, I will have got down on the level and made sure that they're all sitting under the lip, and then I literally, I would be over the top of it like this, <laughs> but you will see nothing. So I'm just going to. Um, now, obviously, if you haven't got a ball vice, you're going to have to secure it somehow um, so that you've got support on the back. Now, I've got my blue tech in here. Now, there is a product that you can use that is like a plastic, and when you heat it, it goes soft and when you heat it again and then it, it dries hard so you can actually sit your mount in that and it'll keep it still so what I'm going to do is just take out these two now I'm trying to keep very still and not knock anything they are perfect those gemstones so what I've got is my pusher and I'm just going to make sure that my central gemstone is sat in and I'm going to remove the last two. And this is just going to be easier for you to see what I'm doing. Now, I have seen people set one at a time. I've seen people do a couple at a time. It's completely up to you. What you tend to do is push them in slightly all the way around very gently. And then when they start to be slightly in, then you start to go in heavier with the tools. That way you're sort of positioning and you're not sort of going in very ha heavy handed straight away. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my pusher. I'm going to put my hand here so that I've got that, that complete. Um, and what I'm gonna do is just press my wall so cool. over the top now if you look at a um tutorial online of the hammer drill which is, this is a really good opportunity to show you what what it does it's basically got a little mandrel on like this yeah and it comes in and out like that but quicker because it's obviously attached to your fordham or your pendant yeah. drill and you will see that it pushes that metal in it's called this is called a is it called a holding? We're trying to find the details for it. You haven't got the box that it came in, have you? No, isn't it? A, um, it's a ball, ball. It is a ball vice. Ball pin vice. I don't know if we've got any left. I don't know if we sold them out. I think they've all I think got we've spherical. Sold them out. Ball oh, I don't know. Okay, um, a ball sorry. vice. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so you will see the metal going 
immediately. When you're setting it by hand, it's a gradual process, but you will see it start to concertina. Now, if I get the one that I made previously oh my gosh. it doesn't change dramatically what happens is this lip just kind of goes over the top of the mm. gemstones like if you think of peas in a pod and it kind of starts to squeeze them in yeah right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my nail on the top because I don't want it to be start to um be wonky and you've got to be very careful here have your tweezers by the side that you're going to work on one side, make sure that you haven't pushed it so that your gemstone is lifting over the lip on the other side and then turn it round. And I'm going to pop in um, the... Gorgeous. So again, you can see this isn't a quick process. Now I could have taken nice, the piece of jewellery out and turned it round, but then you risk... Um, dislodging the stone so thanks carol all right darling having the right tools is amazing having the right tools is incredible oh. and you will just keep pushing and i'm kind of rocking and i'm starting to see that that's starting to sit in there a lot easier and then i would go back to the other side and do the same again now once that you can feel that that's tightened up. Yeah. Once you can, uh, let me have a look. Yes, yeah, stone set engraving vice. Yeah. Is that what I'm using? We're actually we, we've actually got two of them available. Oh, we may okay. as well bring them to air. This is Haley Kruger was literally doing handstands when we when we launched. Oh, it, it's the most incredible it. tool. Pretty much all the guest designers have got them now who do stone setting. Well, yeah, well, I suggested this a while ago. I'm sure I wasn't the only one, but I said, have you thought about it's a ball vice? Beautiful tool. And as you can see, look, you know. It, it is wonderful. Yeah, look at the, the, the fact you can rotate it on that. Now this opens, mat. I haven't got the, the bits with me because I don't need to open it yeah, today. Of it opens, you can put your uh, rings inside the jaws. It's a vice and you can claw set you can it's brilliant i can't work without it, now, it, it really. it's a brilliant tool and and you know i think you're i don't think you're alone there a lot of people you know just have started using this and just found the wealth of uh the versatility of this i'm really sorry we've only got two available i've got two people on the phone lines there's 249.99 uh four individual split paints of 62.49 okay we've got two chances available alison in the highlands bitter in um kent as well uh, fantastic right sorry okay so what i've done is i've taken stone out because otherwise i'll sit here for half an hour because i need to show you the process mm. okay so your stone's in and you've tightened it up you've gone round one side round the other and that stone is tight so it's time to add the second one then the third one you're making sure that's why i said you know make sure you've got time that they're all seated nicely you're relaxed you're in a good seating position and once you've added the ends and then you could put your rest of your gemstones in. Now, when you can feel that they've squeezed in, like they'll still move, but they're, they're tighter, then you can go in with more pressure with your pusher. So what you're aiming to do at first is push the walls in towards the center. And then once it's squeezed your gemstone, you're going to take your pusher and actually rock and roll over the top yeah. so that they are your gemstones are pushed in that way and then you're going to just bring the lip of the metal nice. over the top now where you might come into the metal being a bit harder because you've worked all the way around quite a few times you've been adding your gemstones in is where you might need to use your hammer now you can continue ideally with using your pusher and just hammer with that Mm. If that doesn't work, that's when I took my hole punch or anything similar and it's got a smaller end on it. More concentrated and on it, yeah. It concentrates it and you can hammer that. Now, when you finished doing this the old school way, you're going to have hammer marks and you're gonna have some lines. So once you finish setting and you're completely happy that everybody's sat together like peas mm. in a pod, so like this one, 
there's going to be a bit of tidying up to do. Yeah. Okay. And what and how we do that is we're going to take it off of here. So just let me move this out of the way. And you're going to need to use your files. Mm. So if you haven't got a, a hand piece, then putting your hand, maybe putting some finger tape on, putting your hand over the gemstone to completely protect it, and then using your files to take out any marks both ways, like in a round position, and you'll see that the marks will, will, will come out. Now, if you have got your hand piece now I've just bought my little one here so I didn't have to bring the whole shebang and you've got some serious marks I had some serious marks in the other one from mm. my pusher then you can use your sanding to go along the side and actually get rid of that now you can also get some of these um, ends that will give you that brushed effect. Now, I might be alone on this, but I don't really want my jewelry to look like it's come off a production line. I quite I like it to look quite artisan. So I made mine with like a brushed finish rather than a high polish. I like that. And I did that with my um, end mops. But of course, not everybody's got a Dremel and I totally appreciate that. And so in which case, you need to go in with your sanding sticks and then buff up with your, these. We've all got these. It's one of the yeah. first, first things that I, um, that I was told about because you've basically got different levels of sandpaper on here. So you just finish it off. So you want to work that way over the top, follow the line of the yeah. metal and forward so that you end up with that finished off beautifully. So setting all the way around very gradually, very gently, um, tightening, 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 and then finishing off, tidying up, polishing, done. Ow! Oh. Oh. Debbie Kershaw, <laughs> that was amazing. No, please leave that on. If uh, you've got any, <laughs> if you've got any questions, can I hello. Wear, can I wear it quick? Yeah, go on. Oh yeah, go on. I love things. If you've got any questions, because um, obviously we just—that's a DVD, isn't it? Really. Oh. <laughs> you can wow. ask me. <laughs> I just love it. I love anything that magnifies or does anything like that. Way right. Um, amazing. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh. Gila. Right. Amazing. Wasn't that brilliant? Oh, so awesome. <laughs> um, Stardust beads. It's going to be a star by. Ta, 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 ta. Let's do them now. I haven't got time for the star by sting. I ain't got time for that. No time to dilly dally. Okie dokie. So, Stardust beads. These are absolutely phenomenal. This is probably our biggest selling bead, our most popular bead um, uh, on Jewelry Maker. They've been around for years. And then we had a, a, a period of about three or four years where we didn't, we didn't have the Stardust beads at all. They're brilliant. They're basically sterling silver beads which have been fired with diamond granules to give them this incredible Stardust quality. And it's not like a mirror ball. It's not like glitzy and sparkly and flashy. As you can see here, it's much more of a constant sparkle. It's beautiful. It's, uh, it, it is that beautiful texture. It's not like they've been rolled in glue and had something stuck to them. That's not it at all. Uh, they've got that gorgeous texture going all the way through. Lots of people already coming through. You're getting different sizes, two and a half, three, four, and five mil. 40 in total. That's 10 in each size you're going to be getting here. They're beautiful for making entire bracelets out of. They're great for hiding knots on a, on a stretchy bracelet, particularly the larger ones here. Um, and I love them. I think they're gorgeous. They're so beautifully made. They're so beautifully finished. And they are, it is that finishing touch which so many people go for. All 925 sterling silver. We're going to give you the best possible price point that we can. Uh, Geraldine's already got two. That's great to see. Well done. Uh, all uh, 30 second clock. Okay, brilliant. 30 second clock and then the most amazing price. I'm amazed Debbie got all that into the masterclass, aren't you? <laughs> I did look at it. I was thinking, gosh, that's going to take a long time. And actually, you've done, you've done it so well. The easiest thing to do is take the stone out and talk through because if you showed, you, you know, it's a DVD. Yeah, it is, isn't so, it? You know, that it's should just, be a DVD, actually. It'd be a really good DVD. We, we, we've got some, some things in, in, oh, really? in the pipeline. Oh, of, fantastic. Of, yeah. Oh, that's, yeah, that's good. So yeah, there will be some learning in the future where you can Brilliant. see it in detail. 
14.99 for you today. <laughs> Amazing, Kim, make it. Oh, Kat, look at you with the tinsel wrapped around That's your head. That's lovely tinsel. Oh, you look beautiful, baby. Maker in Bristol, Mona. Maker in Lanarkshire, Sheila. Well done to you. Uh, Maker in Merthyr Tidfil. Well done to you, Jane. Maker, Bristol. Well done. Lots of people coming through. These make such a difference to your jewelry. Just little, just little. Especially these ones because mm. they just add that sparkle. Mm. And I think that they can turn just a basic gemstone stretchy into something that looks really high end. Yeah, just one. You mm. don't need to, just one, just to hide that knot. But I have to say, an entire bracelet made out of these is just delicious. Oh, yes, it's please. so nice. It's just, it's just gorgeous. And like, and like I said, it's not that kind of mirror ball, kind of disco kind of um, uh, uh, glitz. It's just a really, it's a really lovely, gentle, consistent sparkle. It's absolutely gorgeous. Well done, Bernadette, Maker, Teresa. Uh, well done, two Teresas, one in Greater London, one in Sussex. Well done to you as well. £14.99. and 99 pence. 12 opportunities remaining. Well done, everyone. These little two and a half mil ones, they're just adorable, aren't they? Use they're them in lovely. your CP designs. Use them on your loom. Obviously. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, use your gemstones and your um, precious metal spaces on your loom. That's lovely. Look at it with the gorgeous uh, starry, starry uh, hematite stars. Worth showing these again. Tomorrow morning. What's going on tomorrow morning in the eight o'clock hour? Go on. What is it? What is it? What is it? King has got it in her hand. She's not showing it to me. What is it? Oh! Zena and Hannah Osborne. Oh my gosh. Coming up in the eight o'clock hour tomorrow morning. Jeepers. They are 12, 14. I don't know. They're big. 14 mil. 16 mil. They're as big as your head. They are absolutely with the stardust. Yes, with the stardust. Oh, baby, baby. They are gorgeous. They're it's so like, heavy. Um, it's like a night sky with lots of stars. Yes. Oh, 16 mil. Whoa. And then put your black hematite stars in because I've kept these out for the entire show. I can't bear to be parted from these. Six prong stars. Stardust, stars and the galaxy, basically. Yeah, jewellery. Uh, well done. Ella's got two of these. Claire, Lorraine, Karen, Claire, Richard's got two. Brenda. If you're confused at the minute, don't worry. It is the sterling silver stardust beads that we're bringing you at the minute. Well done, everybody. Oh, Debbie. Oh, Debbie. When are you back with us, lovey? I am back. Not this Sunday, this Sunday after. And I'm launching a new tool, another Oh, one. give over. What? Go on. What tool is it? Come I, on, I can't say. It's epic, though. What, what will it do? compresses things it's a heavy duty tool it's like, <laughs> and i haven't named it yet but it's beautiful is it you I need to name tool. it you know i will that. i will <laughs> you know me Vicky, the <laughs> weird <stretcher. laughs> oh do you know what it's been so much fun today hasn't it? thank you so much for joining us genuine it's been brilliant uh, tomorrow morning you've got hannah osborne and xena joining you which is going to be loads of great fun sunday we're joined by mark smith we've got everything uh it's going to be absolutely incredible but debbie you've been amazing and well done with that, with that channel setting. That is, you've done that proud. That's brilliant. Thank you. Thank you so much, Libby. <laughs> we'll see you the other side of this. Well, Dave, we'll see you the other side of this. An amazing afternoon. We're carrying on with Christmas on Hobby Maker. Yes, tis the season. We'll see you in a second. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with